Hi guys, it's Debbie, and today I'd like to speak about Dangal, a biographical film directed by Nitesh Tiwari. It follows the real story of Mahavir Singh Pogat, a former wrestler portrayed by Amir Khan. Mahavir had to give up his dream of becoming a national and international wrestling champion because his family couldn't afford to fund this career. Years later, when Mahavir's wife became pregnant, he promised himself that his future son would fulfil his dreams by following in his steps and becoming a wrestler. But his wife not only delivered a girl, but over the years she gave birth to four daughters. Mahavir loved his daughters more than anything, but deep down, a part of his heart was still broken as he saw his dreams vanishing. He lost all his interest in wrestling until years later, he discovered that his teenage daughters Gita and Babita had an exceptional natural talent for fighting. So he forced them to follow a strict training regimen and a specific diet, preparing them to possibly become future wrestling champions. All the odds were against them, as local villagers made fun of the concept of a female wrestler, or they would wouldn't allow women to take their part into wrestling competitions. Uh, schoolmates taunted Gita and Babita for their short haircuts which were necessary for their training. The girls would repeatedly refuse to be forced into training and also the family had to cover all expenses, desperately trying to make ends meet. But as the girls began to prove their skills to larger and larger audiences, they realised that their father in reality had just been setting a path to a life of opportunities they could only have dreamed of. At the same time, helping everybody surround in them uh, to rethink the stereotypical role of a woman within society. I personally really enjoyed Dangal and although the running time was slightly too pushed at nearly 2 hours and 40 minutes, I found it totally engaging from beginning to the end. I had no previous knowledge about Mahavir Pogat, I had never heard of Gita and Babita and I also didn't have any particular interest in wrestling. But the plot and characters were developed in such an excellent manner that I found myself cheering on the girls from their first steps right until the end. Also the film doesn't just just describe Gita and Babita's steps towards success, but it includes a series of other topics, so it's not limited just to a near documentary format which not everybody could enjoy. For example, it doesn't hesitate in portraying the controversial attitude that the girl's father appears to have at the beginning of the film, because at first glance he appears just as a selfish, self-centred man which, after a personal failure, just simply forces his children into fulfilling his own dreams. It isn't until later that we realise that Mahavir wasn't simply imposing his will on Gita and Babita, on the contrary he was offering them a life-changing opportunity as their alternative path would have been uh, marrying at an early age and living a life of house duties without a chance of letting their voice be heard. So one of the first features I appreciated of this film was its realism, because Mahavir isn't immediately portrayed as the welcoming father which uh, plans out a perfect future for his kids uh, while delivering melodramatic emotional speeches. On the contrary, we wrongly perceive him as a rather arrogant uh, and self selfish character because that's what we would perceive in a real life situation. It's only through slowly unwrapping his personality that we discover his huge heart and his true intentions. Another realistic feature linked to this is the style of the dialogues in the film. A mistake which often occurs with plots which depict touching against the odd situations is the excess of exaggerately melodramatic, emotional and complex dialogues which nobody would ever come up with in real life. In Dangal instead the dialogues are kept very simple but at the same time very emotional. Mahavir is no poet, but still we feel the deep attachment he has for his family. Gita and Babita express themselves through the words uh, a person of their age would use, and even when one character delivers a meaningful speech about a freedom of choice uh, and a life of sadness, so she uses simple words, and they were exactly the ones we wanted to hear. Another realistic feature which underlines the number of emotions Dangal can effortlessly convey is the amount of times uh, Babita and Gita fail. They don't simply run down the path for success with a couple of suspense food mistakes. They often give up, lose, they're fed up, they refuse to train, and not just because of physical weakness, but also because of all the pressure, uh, all the issues teenagers go through, and because of the desire of wanting to be like their peers. I particularly enjoyed the character of Gita, portrayed by Fatima Sana Shaikh. She is a strong woman, both physically and mentally, but at the same time she has a very quiet and reserved personality. She never boasts her skills. She is proud of her achievements, but always in a humble manner. Even when she grows up and she is trained by a national coach, she still crawls back home, crying and asking her parents for advice, and she always finds time for her younger siblings. So although this film contains a lot of comedy, mostly introduced by secondary characters, it remains a very deep and moving film, and it never falls into awkward or cringeworthy jokes. Dangal touches topics such as perseverance, family unity, the struggle against society's standards, weakness and strength both of the body and of the mind, of the father-daughter relationship, and the achievement of career goals. These themes are organised throughout the film with an 
an emotional crescendo which moves from a nearly comedic beginning to a tear-jerking emotional ending. The soundtrack was wonderfully matched to the changing mood and topics with more upbeat and very catchy tunes during the beginning training scenes then with lighter tones when Gita moves it into womanhood and then moving on to softer deeper tones towards the emotional ending. Let me know what you thought about Dangal with a comment here below and if you enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe for many more movie related videos. See you soon, bye!